To prepare for the production of plan sheets, one of the key considerations is our baseline annotation. During the design process, it is typical to go ahead and label the annotation of the baseline in, for example, your geometry file. And you'll have your curve data, your stations, your tick marks, etc. At this point, you may want to go ahead and remove the annotation from your geometry file and have it drawn directly to your drawing model, which makes it easier to manipulate. So we're going to remove the element annotation along our baseline example. And so now our geometry baseline annotation is removed. Now we're going to switch back over to our design file. So here we have a very simple uh, undivided corridor design and we want to cut some plan sheets. To do that, we're going to make a new file and we're going to use the Open Roads 2D seed. And I'll just call this plan sheets. You would put that in the appropriate folder. So we'll save plan sheets. Now we need to reference in what it is we want to include. So we'll attach references and I'm gonna bring in my terrain and my geometry. You may have, for example, a survey as well, right away, many other types of files. This is just an example. So we'll attach these. We'll do a fit view and to create our 3D model, I'm gonna make my existing terrain my active surface. And we'll pretend at this point that the design is complete and you're ready to cut your plan sheets. So you'll wanna turn on and off appropriate levels before you begin this process. And then we're going to proceed to place our name boundaries. This is going to be different than what you may have been used to in the past. Your list is going to look completely different. Uh, we're going to be creating plan sheets. And note, there's no scales here now. The default for plan sheets is one inch is 100 feet. And so we're going to select that we want to do plan sheets. But instead of doing one inch is 100 feet, we're going to show you how you can do any scale that you want. So by start, notice that you have a length, a left and right offset, and an overlap value. There's no scales here to change to a 50 scale, but I can simply come in and select 50, and it will change my length and my left and right offset. But what it did not change is the overlap. So we're providing a spreadsheet to access. So under the Iowa DOT apps, Under Sheeting Aids, you will see Dialog Settings to open a spreadsheet. In that spreadsheet, if we navigate to the Plan Only tab, you will see on line 9 here that that is 1 inches 50 feet, so that your left and right offset should be 500 and your overlap should be 67.5. So we'll minimize that. We'll check our length and our left and right offset. And all we need to change here is our overlap. So we'll change that to 67.5. Now we will go ahead and select the dialog, our start location, and we will touch our baseline and tell it where you want to start. And you can start before the beginning of your stationing if you want to. So I'm gonna do that here. At this point, you can give this a name after you select your start location and hit your tab key. And so that that will go ahead and produce uh, the correct results in the dialog. But again, you have to type that name in before or after you select your start location. Now we're going to do a left click to accept and notice how it started before the baseline. And I'm going to drag over and create two plan sheets, but I'm not going to actually uh, create the drawing at this point. So we're just going to place the name boundaries. And we're going to do this because we want to draw the stationing directly in the drawing models. And so we're gonna select this to create our 50 scale name boundaries. Now we're gonna come back to our name boundaries tool and we're going to expand and there's our named group that we created, Route 67 extension. And I wanna turn on, this is important, to show the create dialog and also to annotate the plan drawing models. This is what puts our stationing and our tick marks and our curve tables in our drawing models. So we're going to have both of those on. 
and then we're going to select based on this name group to create our plan sheets. Now this is an important step because we changed to a 50 scale, we need to set 50 here and also verify in the detail scale for the sheet model, it is set to 50 there as well. And you can, if you want to, go ahead and adjust what you want your drawing model and your sheet model to be. And so you can put anything in those dialogues that you want to. And if you want to automatically add those to the sheet index, you can turn uh, that on as well. And then we'll select OK. And you can also navigate to see what folder in the sheet index. So if I come into the sheet index, I can say under Road, let's say that I'm just going to put them in A sheets. I'm not really sure where those go, but I will just use that as an example. And then we'll select OK. So now it takes us to our last plan sheet uh, once they are created. And it also puts our annotation in the drawing model for us. So you'll see the annotation is back. And so if we switch back to uh, a drawing model here, this stationing text is actually right in the drawing model. It can be moved around. For example, if I want to move my curve data, I can do that. I can edit that curve data and make changes right here on the fly. Notice that you have some text that is, has a highlighted background and some is not. That is controlled by the text field background setting. So you can turn that on or off. If you see highlighted text, that means it's computed. If you don't see highlighted text, that means it's static or non-computed text. And so this will give you uh, the option to see what is being computed by the product and what is not. So now that you have your plan sheets created, you can uh, make changes. For example, if you want to go back to um, your sheet model and let's say you wanted to toggle on or off construction class, uh, construction classes, the F7 function key, or you can use it in the view attributes as well. So you'll have here uh, your construction toggles there as well. And you also have your TED text field background toggle here. So that's how we cut our plan sheets. And because we've added them to the sheet index, uh, you will see that the title block information is filled out as well. And so just to show you that over in the sheet index, we should have our two entries that we just added. And so we added these two sheets and I can use the sheet index even to navigate to those sheets if I wish. So this is a conclusion of how we can cut a plan sheet at any scale that we desire. Uh, just follow these steps and you should be good for any particular need.